Thank you. Um, my name is Lilibeth Cuenca Rasmussen, and I'm um, um, an artist from Copenhagen in Denmark, in um, the Nordic Denmark. And uh, actually, I'm born in the Philippines, and I'm half Filipino. And this piece is kind of about um, this matter that you are looking something like something else on the on the facade, but inside you maybe um, you have another nationality and things like that. Well, I basically work in the media, uh, video media, and um, recently, the last two, three years, also I work with live performances and um, documentary and installations. And this piece, Absolute Exotic, is uh, what I have um, um, in the show here. And it's about um, racial discrimination between uh, ethnic groups in the uh, a certain society and this piece was made for a, a, a Danish, a very Danish exhibition in Denmark where only um, a Danish, um, Danish artists with another ethnic background were invited. So um, this, uh, this song is also very political, um, cultural ident about cultural identity and um, it's also about um, exoticism and um, what else? So, um, yeah, this racial discrimination between ethnic groups in a society. Um, like um, in Denmark, the, the big issue is more like that, um, that um, people from the Eastern, uh, Eastern Asian countries, uh, Muslims, that there's some kind of uh, more discrimination to, towards these, these ethnic minorities, but like Asian people, they are more like said to be uh, able to adapt within to a, a new culture, so they are almost like invisible. And like black people in Denmark are very popular because of hip hop from the US. So since I'm like half Asian, I'm like making a comment to this thing. Just play. Okay, I'm gonna show an excerpt of, of the piece. Oh, not here? So um, yeah, this was just an excerpt because I would like to show some other pieces. Um, wait, this song, uh, the, because um, yeah, the last three years I've been working a lot with um, using myself as like the object in my videos. And in this piece it's called um, the cockfight song. And it's about macho uh, identity within a culture. Um, a one. One of the projections, as you see, it's a documentary about cockfighting in the Philippines. I do a lot of my documentaries. I go back to the Philippines and make a lot of uh, make different films. And then on the other side of uh, of this iron cage, there is a performance where I, I'm dressed up as as a cock um, because um, I'm using. It's also um, I use it, um, I write my so the lyrics of my songs myself, and I work with a composer, a musician, who, who makes the music for me. So it's a, couple of, a collaboration with the, a composer and uh, me. 
for this kind of work. So um, in Cockfight Song, uh, I'm singing, uh, I'm trying to actually my, um, what do you call it, my um, character is being a, a cock who is in a fight, the animal cock, but also uh, also a female. And um, it's about um, actually this uh, uh, patriarch patriarchal uh, <laughs> society we are we are raised in I'm commenting on this like um, how are men uh, the stereotype uh, image of a man I'm actually teasing with this and I'm using the dual meaning of the world cock in in my song and I'll also show you a small excerpt of the video yeah, yeah. But this is a single channel projection because I made two versions. Uh, the other one image you saw was an installation. You could enter the, the cage and uh, yeah, switch back and forth to the documentary. Power of the crowd. Cock make man's world go around. I've cocked up them, that's what I am. But the game would be nicer if I was the man. I've cocked up fucks and I'm stuck. I've cocked up fucks. It's a dead fuck. A vain cock is worse than a pain. Even worse is that cock in his chain. Yes. <laughs> and the, the next uh, piece I want to tell you about, it's called uh, The Ego Song, and it was actually made for the same show with the Cockfight Song, and um, so it was a, a, a solo show in Denmark. And the, um, yeah, as in my characters, they are very feminine, but at the same time, uh, I have maybe a more masculine um, attitude uh, so I'm actually I'm very aware of like sampling between have a balance between the masculine and the feminine uh, sides uh, within a, a person in this piece um, I'm dressed as a sun because uh, for me the sun is the symbol of the universe and uh, I'm singing about being a big egoistic person and then that um, everything I live for is um, is just mirroring myself um, that um, refrain is uh, like call it a Freudian slip I'm, um, I'm on an ego trip or something like that I forgot <laughs> and then uh, it's just a, a one take performance and it was uh, projected as a round a round thing so um, it's a very sarcastic song, but sometimes if you want to get your message through, you have to be very, you know, going to the edge maybe. So even though I, I look very, maybe very feminine there, it's also a very cold figure. Actually, I'm imitating Marlene Dietrich, if you know her, <laughs> German diva, because she was uh, also, uh, for me, she was representing both the masculine and feminine um, sides in the person. Ah. 
is the U delete E. Okay, I'm sorry about the quality. I'm sorry. I love. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah, so that was an installation. Um, what else can I say about this? Yeah, it's uh, actually a comment in, um, about this um, the very Western, uh, very materialistic world. We live in, in the Western world that we, we don't have to um, stick to our families anymore. We can build up our own identity by buying things and choosing friends, choosing a new family, just building up your whole identity from scratch and just leaving what you have behind. And when you don't want this identity anymore, you can just maybe choose another one and buy yourself and throw friends away and use them like that. Um, the last piece I want to show is... Um, it's my latest piece. I, I just showed it for the first time last week in Copenhagen. It's called The Artist Song. So this is also a new, a new identity I have, but this time as, as an artist. And this piece I'm dressed out, if you can't see it, it's I'm dressed up uh, as a sculpture, a living sculpture, and I'm walking through a... Uh, this is a collection uh, in a museum we have in Denmark. It's called um, New Carlsberg Lipstick this uh, famous beer, Carlsberg, we have in Denmark. He, he got very rich, this man, so he had this huge foundation of neoclassical sculptures, European sculptures. So I'm dressed out as one of these, and I'm trying to... I'm actually, I'm name-dropping a lot of uh, artists from the, uh, the contemporary art scene who um, made kind of a change and a very radical move in, in, in art, like going through boundaries. So they will um, for sure make history, that's for sure. When you move boundaries, you will make history. So I'm singing about them, but I'm also singing about like how many artists that exist in this world, and I'm just one of them, and you are one of them, and many of us will be forgotten. And... Um, <laughs> I'll show... This one? Yeah. I'll just... Uh, Just hit the yeah. button when you're ready. Just Here. Find time okay. Yeah. So who decide what is art? Is it enough, like Mansoni to cut a fart? To common people it can be hard to understand That making art can be too crap in a can Or Felix elephant dung on canvas Because he's famous, it can even sell in Kansas Rick Rick cooks tie and make people happy And John Box style is to make it look crappy Art is great, it has no limitations You can get by doing recitations Masturbating at an art exhibition Many did so in a progression I surely wouldn't go as far as this Elga Christofek <laughs> drinking her piss Burden shot tries in the armpit Operations like all lands Is art all worth it? So many artists in this wide world And many of us just won't get heard Better to learn to deal with rejection And critics and curators have made their selection So many artists in this wide world And many of us just won't get heard I want to take part in art history too But you can only do what feels right for you <laughs> so <laughs> So that was um, half of the song. <laughs> Can I have more time? Or? You have about three minutes. Okay, I have three minutes. And then I'll tell you um, 
Well, this is pieces of video and I also make it as a performance. And for a show um, I had uh, in Copenhagen last week, I also made um, a lot of uh, reenactments, uh, which uh, lasted for three hours, um, reenactments of other artists' uh, pieces. Um, because, I, well, the, the idea was to, to, um, to make, to broaden, to make the song a bit more, to visualize it more. So I made reenactments of artists which I admire a lot, but I also, artists that I think also made some very radical moves in art history. And um, I, what else can I say? Well, before I was involving my family a lot in my video pieces, and then for this show, they were like also playing as uh, actors and helpers for when I was making reenactments. So I made a reenactment of of actually Eve Klein's The Void, it's from 1958. Um, and this, uh, this uh, performance or, or art piece was about that he uh, invited people for, for the show and there was absolutely nothing in the room, it was just empty, but on the outside of the gallery space he painted that, uh, this famous Eve Klein blue. But I did something else because I changed all a little bit the artworks and I, I poured uh, uh, drinks to, to the to people who came to visit the show instead so they would get blue inside. <laughs> um, and then I also made a, a, a reenactment of, um, what's he called, Pierre Manzoni. And he was, uh, his living sculpture, he was signing a lot of uh, models, nude, nude, nude women. So I was just tagging everyone who entered the show. He, they got my logo on. Uh, and then uh, after an hour of this, I went on the, a scene that was built there and I was making a reenactment of this, this artist in December. She, she licked a whole uh, room for three hours, but I just licked the scene. I was uh, <laughs> performing on for like 15 minutes and my tongue started bleeding. And then, because all my reenactments, they were in a narrative, um, it, it, it was like a narration, so they would keep on going. So I only made like 15 minutes or 10 minutes of each reenactment. This was Olan, um, uh, people could buy a kiss from me. So they didn't kiss me, but I really kissed them, and I kissed them very different. Some, some would only get a small kiss, and some would get a real long kiss, so long that at, at the end that people would, would be so frightened that they just had to run away. <laughs> um, and then I made an Anna Mindieta piece where I was um, yeah, writing and making body tracks with uh, blood. And then the famous Eve Klein, uh, <laughs> a tropometrist of the Blue Period. <laughs> and as a female artist, I thought I should have some male nudes. So that's what I got. And then a regret to have any my My mother was cooking a very national Danish dish, uh, no, a Filipino dish. And then uh, this uh, Marina Abramovich was art must be beautiful. <laughs> and then I made this Janine Antonini while I was painting, like with my with my hair. And then um, yeah, kind of imitating a uh, you know, Pollock, Jason Pollock with his um, yeah macho paintings, brush paintings. And this Yoko Ono. And I was really happy there was a clock that rang because I think I, all my clothes would have been gone if it didn't <laughs> ring. <laughs> very active scissor. And then at the end, uh, Nam Chun Pike, he made a very simple thing after his uh, concerts in the 60s where he put a, a big bucket of water after his uh, performances. That's all I have and thank you for your attention. <laughs>